Mm. Hello. In this video, we're going to discuss Menens' BetCT Fusion software. BetCT is a joint modality uh, of BET, as you can see it right here, and CT that helps us visualize the anatomy and the activity in one view. That is the fused uh, view here in the middle. We can see here the standard MPRs, axial and chronal and the sagittal of the BET and the CT and the fuse and the bit fusion. I can control this layout here by uh, let's uh, for example uh, hide the CT. I can hide the BET. I can keep the CT and the fusion. I keep the CT and the BET on hand and so forth. I can control also the positions of these views. Uh, suppose I, uh, I like the fused view at the upper uh, portion of the screen or in the middle. I can also control the amount of fusion between the CT and the bed, like this. And I can change the color palette of the bed. Let's try something different. Like this. Okay. Uh, let's discuss uh, the uh, the tools available on the MPR. I can pan any view by pressing the left and the right mouse button together. With the left click, I can go through the images in a cine-like mode. With right click, I can change the windows on the uh, the window level of the CT or of the bed. Okay, I can move any of the MPR axes to change the view available in the MPR. I can move both of them by clicking on the middle uh, point with the left click. Also, this MPR offer the oblique capability, I can rotate the MPR from this bullet point here to any view I want, that uh, gives great flexibility. As we can see here, when I move on one view, the other views move as well. That helps us, uh, in addition to the fusion, visualize the differences on each view. Also, another important tool in the MPR is the triangulation tool. The triangulation is available here or with pressing the shift while pressing the left click. Let's try to triangulate the views on this region right here. When I triangulate, all the MPRs will point to that view. All the MPR axes will point to that view. So I can visualize it. From any angle. Suppose we want to turn off This binding of the MPRs, I want to rotate on the fused region only. So I disable the bind MPR tool. So I can move the fused MPRs only and leave the others. At any time, I can reset the MPRs or I can reset all. Okay, let's go in more detail on the analysis tools available on the MPRs. Here, we can measure the distance, the angle, we can put an arrow or a text on the on any of the MPR views. Let's try it. Let's measure this distance right here. We can measure the angle too.
we can push an arrow and some text so at any time I can capture any of these views I press in capture viewboard and I press end capture and save it saved to a new series also we can delete any or delete any of the selected uh, annotations or text or arrows or can delete them all another important analysis tool, especially Metabitsity, is the intensity analysis or the SUV calculations. So I can draw a region of interest at any point and I'll have some info on that region. Here is the info, the average PQML measurement on that region. I can show some detailed information I have the average, the maximum, and the minimum, and the standard deviation measured in BQML. I can change uh, this measurement to SUV calculations. So let's start like this. We can see here we have the measurement not in PQML but in SUV. Also I can track single pixel not a complete region of interest by moving the mouse over that region and I have here the CT and the bet measurement on that region. Here when I move to the bet I have the bet measurement. When I move to the CT I have the CT number of that point that I'm clicking. Now that we have discussed the available analysis tools on the MPRs, we can look at the CT, at the 3D visualization of the CT and the bit. Let's try it. Here we can see both the CT and the bit in 3D. We can change the opacity of the CT. We can change the window width and window level of the bed. We can cut through the MPR like this to get a better view. We can look at the volume from any orientation. This gives us great flexibility and visualization of the troubled region with a nice 3D volume rendering. We can also have the, ca the standard capturing tools of the 3D. I can I can rotate the volume like this. And capture a rotating image. Or I can move freely using the free scene recording tool like this. Thank you.